Right, Ellie, so the first thing we've got to do when we get into the car is to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Okay? Yeah. So, with the handbrake, we'll talk about how, how to use it in a bit. I don't want you to press that button. No. But what I want you to do, please, is to put your left hand underneath it and just tug it up and make sure it's on the up position. That's it. Okay? Yeah. So the handbrake's on, the car's secure. Okay. Next, what we've got to do is we've got to go through our cockpit drill. Yeah, our cockpit drill is setting ourselves up ready to drive the car. So from the moment, from where you are, it's gonna be a bit of a stretch to hold the steering wheel, to push the pedals down there, isn't it? Yeah, so we've gotta set ourselves up to use the car safely. And to do that, we're gonna go through a routine of doors, seat, mirrors, and seat okay. belts. So first of all, the doors. You've just got in, you shut the door, so we wanna make sure it's, that it's shut. Two ways of doing that, you can actually grab the handle and rattle it, yeah? Or you can look down the mirror and you can see that the door is flush with the rest of the, of the car. Yeah, so you know that the door is shut. You can look down this mirror, and can you see that same on this mirror? Yeah. Yeah, okay, the mirrors aren't set right yet, but you can see that the doors are shut. If the door was open, it'd have that horrible rattly noise, okay? So I'm just gonna shut that door. Okay, next we're gonna move the seat. So we know the doors are shut. Can you tell me the names of the pedals down there? I don't mind if you can say no. No. Okay, we've got accelerator, brake, and clutch, and we'll go through those on oh, another lesson. I knew that. You knew that, okay. So the clutch pedal is the one on the left, and you should be able to push that pedal all the way down and still have a slight bend to your left leg. And at the moment, that isn't going to happen, is it? No. You need to pull that seat forward. So with your, you can pull yourself on the steering wheel with your right hand, good. And with your left hand, there's a little uh, lever in between your legs there underneath the seat, yeah? Pull that up, and it will release the seat, and you can pull yourself oh, forward, yes. yeah? Yeah. Okay? Release with your left hand and then it'll lock into place and try and push that left pedal all the way down. Because I think you need to come a little bit more forwards. Okay? Push that pedal all the way down. You might hear a click from the seat where it's just locking in. Push that all the way down, don't be afraid. So, we're still on the seat. Okay? Yeah. You can release the pedal if you want. Okay? Uh, we need to be able to hold the steering wheel comfortable. Okay? Yeah. So, if you want to put your hand above the steering wheel, your right hand, so the knuckle of your thumb there rests on the top of the steering wheel, okay? Yeah. All right. Now your arm's actually quite straight when you do that, yeah? Which is nice. So you can comfortably come round to a 10 to 2 or quarter to 3 position. That's it. Yeah. Nice. Imagine the clock face, okay? If we did need to adjust the seat by sitting up or lying down a bit, in this car, there's a, you can feel it with your right hand down uh, behind the seat. There's kind of a, a little ball. Um, got little knobbles on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you twist that round and it moves the seat up or down. Okay, yeah, feel that? Yeah. Yeah, but it was okay where it was, so just take that back to where it was, take, take it back again. Okay, Good. now then, we're still on the seat and we've got the head restraint back here, okay? Now the head restraint is there to prevent your neck from going back too far if you are in, the, in, in a collision. Okay, um, it's there to prevent whiplash. So it needs to be adjusted correctly. And again, this is actually in a good place for you. The middle of the head restraint needs to be around about ear and eye level. Okay, mm -hmm. which it is for you, isn't it? Yeah? yeah, okay. If you did need to move it up or down, there's the little lever, if you can just see this on the, on the seat here. Okay, yeah. and you just push that in and you can raise it up or down. Okay, I need to move mine up. So we've done okay. the doors, we've done the seat. Next, we're going to move on to the mirrors. You can release your hands off the steering wheel if you want, because we're not going anywhere just yet. Now, we've got three okay. mirrors to choose from here. We've got your interior mirror, and we've got two exterior mirrors, okay? We'll talk about the differences in a minute. Okay. But for the moment, the interior mirror, we want to be able to see the main vision out of the back window, okay? And the top of the mirror here running level with the top of the window. So if I was to move that like that, you know that's not straight. Yeah, okay. So you can also see when I'm moving the mirror for you here, yeah, you're yeah. gonna do it in a moment. I'm not touching the glass. because yeah. I don't want fingerprints or palm prints all over the mirror glass, okay? Yeah. So I'm holding the plastic. I'm not pulling it, okay? It works on a ball and socket joint back there, so it will go all the way around, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can move this in a minute, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can get the good vision, all right? Yeah. Try and sit back into your seat when you do it because you don't wanna be sitting forwards. Yeah, that's perfect, and then sit back and it'll be in a different view, yeah. okay? So if you wanna move that mirror so that you're, um, how I've described, main vision out of the back window and the top of the window running parallel with the top of the mirror. Like that. that looks good to me, but it's your vision, not mine. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay? Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, now the door mirrors. Okay? Now they see down the left hand side and the right hand side of the car. And in this car, these are adjusted electronically. Oh. Okay? Can you see, uh, just by your door handle, there's a little joystick with a picture of wing mirrors there. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're pointing yeah. at the right thing. Yeah. At the moment, the dot is pointing at the zero, so no mirror selected. Yeah. Can you twist that to the left mirror? Actually twist it so the dot is pointing at the left arrow. Good. Now, for this, we're also going to need to put the ignition key in because it is electric. You need to get the electrics running. Okay. So, you've never put a key in the ignition before. No. no. Okay, can you see the ignition slot uh, just down the left hand side, yeah. uh, sorry, the right hand side of the steering column, yeah? yeah? Okay. The key will only go in one way, okay? Pop that in, don't twist it just yet. Put it in all the way. Well done. Oh, right. Okay, now, we're going to twist that clockwise one click. Is it clicked? There, that was one click, okay? We're going to click it one more click. Good. No more now. Okay, now as you can see the lights have come up on the dashboard, that's turned all the electrics on, not the engine, but the okay, electrics so are on. Okay, so if you okay. want to look over to the left, you can move that joystick down and you'll see that mirror move down. Can you see that? If you move the joystick up, it goes up. Yeah. If you move it left, it goes left, left. and if you move it right. Okay, good. So the correct vision for this is so that we can see about a thumb's width of our car on the inside edge. So we'll get that first of all. Do we have about a thumb's width of blue car in that mirror? No. Do we need more or less? No. We need more, more car, so we need to move that mirror right. There it comes, you're getting a bit more car. Yeah? Okay. Do you have about a thumb's width? Give or take, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah? Okay, good. So we're not going to move it left or right anymore. No. Now we need to talk about the height. Now the height, there's two ways of doing this. We should get the horizon line to be around about the middle of the mirror. Now, where we're parked, we haven't got a horizon line, have we? No. Okay, so can you see where the window meets the door? Yeah, this black trim, okay? It goes all the way back to the very back of the car on both sides, yeah, where the window meets the door. And I want to get that about halfway. So does that need to come up or down to get to that halfway point? Down. It needs to come down, so we need to move the mirror up, okay? Yeah. Watch it and see how it works. You see that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Only about halfway. It doesn't need to be precise, okay? Do you have that where we need to go? Sort of. Okay, sort of? It's fine. It's your vision, not mine, yeah? So yeah. I can't say you're right or wrong. So just to recap, we should have about a thumb's width of car on the inside edge, mm -hmm. and the horizon line, or that black trim line, around about the midpoint. Yes or no? No. Okay, what, what do you want to change? The, the midline. Okay, does it need to come up or down? Down. So we need to move the mirror right. up. Yeah. So we need to twist that to the right hand arrow now, and we're going to do the right hand mirror. The, 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 yeah, go on. the line of the window mm -hmm. should be halfway along. Around about halfway along. Oh. Okay, sort it out, that's fine. That's probably too low, isn't it? I see what you're doing. You're doing the black bit here, aren't you? Trying to yeah. see that point, yeah. Can you see that point back there, right. the very okay, back, yeah? I know, yeah, it's a little bit of confusion there, that's fine. So we need to move the mirror back up again. Keep it going until that point where I'm tapping the very back bit of the window. Yeah. Yeah? Do you notice how you're sitting down a bit? Yeah. Sit in your seat because that's how you're going to be driving. Now I have that. That's yeah? Do you still have the thumbs with the car? Yeah. You do now, yeah? Good. We'll leave that one there. Twist it to the right dot. And we're going to do exactly the same with the right-hand mirror. So get your thumbs with the car first of all. It might already be there. Mm -hmm. More or less car. Yeah? And that black trim line to be around about halfway. Yeah. Good. Twist that knob back to the zero, then you know you're not going to knock it by mistake and move the mirrors that you've just worked so hard to get right. Yeah? yeah? Doors, okay. seat, mirrors, done. Can you remember what the last thing was on my list? Pedals. You wanted to do it as soon as you got in the car. D turn the car. Seatbelt. Seatbelt, yeah. We're going to put the seatbelt on now, okay? Now, you had, as, as daft as this sounds, you've never put a seatbelt on from the driver's side. Okay, you've always been yeah. a passenger, yeah? It's on the right-hand side of you, okay? Yeah. Going to hold the buckle, pull it in front of you. Try not to twist the belt across your body. 
good. Clip it into the seatbelt clip there, lovely. And I like how you run your thumbs back to make sure it's not twisted. And again, I've got to tell you this, uh, if we do need to get out in an emergency, we press the red button, but we hold the clip so it doesn't flick up, maybe hit your face or the window, okay? And feed it back up, yeah. okay? All right, nice. So we're now set up, ready to push, uh, squeeze, twist all these levers and buttons in front of us, yeah? Yeah. The next thing we've got to do is learn how, the, how to use them. All right, well done.